All right, guys, Ian Anderson and Peter Mars from Central Coast Disc Golf. We are also joined by my buddy Darren Ziegler. What's up, guys? There he is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I got uh, I got Peter on my right, Darren on my left. I got some beautiful footage in front of me. Let's watch some disc golf. Yeah. All right, Pete, we're out at Wintertime Open, mm -hmm. Oak Grove. First disc golf course with baskets. That's right, in Pasadena, California. Yeah. Kind of almost your home course, right? Yeah, I'm a local to this area. Cool. Yeah. Play here a lot. Uh, yep. And this, they've had this tournament going longer than we've been alive. It's yes, that's right. <laughs> that is very true. 39th year? Is that right? Mm -hmm. Yes, 39th, 39th annual Wintertime Open. Yeah. Uh, Mark Horns, keep it running. Are you going to pass the torch to uh, to John from a Supreme Flight? Yeah, that's what I heard. The yeah. rumors happen. Should be pretty cool. Got a mm -hmm. sweet league card here going yeah. in round two. Uh, Paul McBeth, AJ Reesley, Philo Brathwaite, Bob Music, and Seppo Bayou. Pretty cool. Yeah, this hole, it's a dog leg left, the mandatory to the right of that tree there, mm -hmm. uh, and drop zone on the right hand side of the uh, fairway there. Really tough, Brady. Yeah, the big. Big skip shot. These guys are looking to throw something over stable and skip it over, just like, just like that. Well done by Paul McBeth, mm -hmm. as always. Uh huh. Up next, should uh, shot a pretty nice first round. AJ Reesley. Mm -hmm. That is OB Ooh, Peter. That skips right over those rocks. Yeah, knew that to cut over a little earlier. Mm -hmm. Up third, Philo Brathwaite. I'm just knocking around. That'll play? Mm hmm. Definitely. Easy par. Probably not a birdie, but. Yeah, it's, it's tough. There's a lot of limbs hanging down yeah. right in front of the basket right after you get past that tree. Definitely. Bobby Music. A little wide, but that's a mm -hmm. safe line. Mm hmm. He's got to look at the basket there. Yeah. Should be a pretty easy up and down. See the basket right there. Uh, here is AJ's third shot after the OB stroke. Oh. Yeah. It's gonna probably looking at a five now. Uh, here is Bobby's second shot. Just trying to get it up there. A little short. Yeah. A little scared of that ceiling, it looks like. I'll make that nice one. Uh-huh. Seppo's drive. Mm -hmm. Very nice. That was a lot of work, though. A little bounce, yeah. He's still close. Yep, should be able to tap in a five. Uh, looking at Philo's second. Mm -hmm. Standard. Yep, a little long, nice. but he should make that comeback. And here is Paul for birdie. I don't know if I've seen a better drive, Peter. Yeah, he's done it before at past past years, and oh, yeah, bigger almost, putts. Almost had it there. Yeah. Um, Bobby cleans up his mm -hmm. par. Uh, Paul's gonna come back and do the same. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, that's Seppo, Philo, oh no, AJ, and then Philo. Good drop in by AJ. Not the way he want to start his day, but yeah, he's got a good good mental game. I'll, I'll get back yeah. to that in a hurry for sure. Yeah, he's a uh, he's always seemed to be in good spirits for sure. <laughs> Uh, that's taking Philo into second place. Uh, four back of Paul, and we're on to hold two. Uh, it's a really good forehand hole here. I like that. That's exactly what I throw on this one. It's a tight tunnel, and uh, there's an OB. There's a ditch there, which has actually got some water in it. Yeah. For reals this time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they move the basket a little back left too. It looks like. Yeah, it's. I think last year's to the right, but still past that, mm -hmm. that ditch. So Paul's uh, Annie, his forehand out of the ground, Philo, yeah, yeah. a little low. Uh, Bobby throwing forehand. If Bobby Music throwing a forehand, you know it's a forehand hole. <laughs> That's right. And yeah. he uh, just uh, fell back into that ditch. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Uh, Seppo going forehand. He just kind of flings it out there. It's a nice looking one. Yeah, hit that tree and just kind of sat right there. Mm -hmm. He's got a long putt. But he's safe. Mm -hmm. uh, AJ... Lining up the backhand line here. It's a tight line. It is, but that was very clean. It sure was. And that is parked. What a shot. That's great. That's cool. I haven't seen that line pulled off so mm -hmm. well. Paul's mm. so... Ooh. <laughs> Yo. Very nice. Flirting with that OB, but uh, yeah. got in bounds. Here is Philo with a long putt for a two. And, 
That would have been big. Yeah, get a good chance. Mm -hmm. uh, Seppo also has a look here, stretching out around this tree. Ooh. Need a little more Annie. Yeah, that was close. Uh -huh. uh, there is Bobby cleaning up a three. Mm -hmm. AJ for the bird. All right. It's a stroke on the card. Yeah, got to get back after that first one. Mm -hmm. Not too shabby. Uh, there's Paul with the par, Seppo with the par, and uh, Philo will be doing the same. I've always thrown Innova and competed with Innova. I don't think I'd be playing this sport if it wasn't for him. Creating the disc itself and then just taking it to the next level over and over and over again. How great the discs are themselves. It's really gained my trust and I don't think I would be here without Innova. I just, I don't Huge see myself thanks doing to Innova anything else. For uh, sponsoring Central Coast Disc Golf coverage, a lifetime time open. Uh, I heard the, sh the Shrike is all the rage these days, Pete. Have you tried throwing one yet? Yeah, I, I have one. I've gotten it. I haven't thrown it yet. I heard they bomb. Yeah, yeah, they're a fast disc. Yep, yep. On uh, to hole three, guys. Uh, is a par four, 568. Big old sky angles on this one, Peter. Right, this is a combination of two holes, so it's a par four. It's really long. Um, there's a lot of gack in the way in the middle there. There's tables, trees, but uh, <laughs> and you got kind of have to get down this little, this little alleyway right here with lots of rocks that can kind of stop your disc from sliding even. So, yeah, but, uh, and now there's water if you go long. That's right, yes. <laughs> Wasn't which, in the drone footage, but you'll see it. Which normally isn't the case. But no, it's been wet. Yeah, they had to skip uh, one of the holes, holes, what normally is six, Yeah. because it was so flooded. Yep, that, that was AJ's drive a little low. This is Paul McBeth's monster drive. Just curled it right in there. That is crazy. Yeah, it's a 525-foot shot right makes there. Makes it look so easy. Yep. This is a pretty good-looking rip, too. Mm-hmm. Just got through those trees. Yeah, should be a crazy up and down for Philo. Yeah, should be an easy backhand in there. Mm -hmm. uh, Bobby Music. Mm. Taking the more conservative line up the middle. Right, that's over the the normal tee pad yeah. for for that next hole. Mm -hmm. Got knocked down a little earlier than he wanted, but should be able to make something work. And here is Seppo. Seppo throws far, He's Peter. He's bombing him today. He, <laughs> yeah. I noticed that. that. <laughs> There's Philo. Help us out. <laughs> Clean the lens. He's, he's a good guy. Uh, here is Bobby's second shot, throwing a hyzer flip to almost flat. Mm. And, ooh, ooh, there's the aforementioned water, in Peter. In the drink. Yeah, that's a stroke there. Mm -hmm. uh, looking at AJ, this second. Just a nice little beautiful floater right here. Stops Very nice. just in time. Yeah, that was great. Uh -huh. uh, Seppo, after that pretty huge drive, kind of hangs this upshot out, out wide, Peter. Yeah, not... Yeah, that's still pretty good. It, yes. Still not... Still, can't complain about that. Yeah. Uh, looking at Philo, curving one around. That is looking nice. That is... Let's that's, drop, that's, drop in status. That's tasty. And Paul has this beautiful drive and it lands in the worst spot, like... Oof. He looked at stretching it out either way. It wasn't a, yeah. a go, and then tried to split it. But that was a really tough angle to split that yeah. that wide tree. There's Seppo's putt. Bangs at home. Very nice. All right, here is Bobby for a four with a penalty stroke. Mm. Oh, no. It's a little too far, but yeah. not what you want. Right, right. Uh, there's a good birdie from AJ. Yeah, very nice. Mm-hmm. Uh, there is Paul with his birdie, Bobby with the five. Uh, Philo's going to drop in a birdie as well. Mm -hmm. A lot of birdies, and uh, Bobby running a little bit of trouble with that uh, water really action. Out. It was a good-looking shot, just a little bit too good, it turns out. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, it's going to take us to uh, kind of a famous hole out here, Peter, the yeah. spider hole, yep. right? Or whatever you call it. Yeah, the spider hole, that's right. The basket is uh, in the middle of these tree trunks up here, but you have to get it up this hill and to the right. Uh, first and so it's uh is the cement OB is that right yeah right I think there? so I th yeah think by so. the bathroom yeah yeah uh, AJ taking the backhand line yeah kind of have to throw something that just keeps turning yeah 
And that was a really nice shot. Yeah. He's in kind of a weird spot for putting, though. Mm -hmm. That's not the best side of the tree to be on. You kind of want to be right. short right or long right. Um, but long left is a little tough. All showing how it's done. Yeah. <laughs> that was pretty good. And he actually has a great window over there. Mm -hmm. uh, Philo taking the backhand. That didn't turn, Peter. Yeah. It kind of, yeah, just sat down right at the top of that hill. So he's looking at it, but... Yep. Seppo going forehand. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was looking good. Yeah, sitting right, right there next to Philo. Yeah, he is, isn't he? Mm -hmm. I was surprised by that after watching it. Off the tee, it looked a lot uh, better. Sure. Than, I, I couldn't see that action coming backwards. Mm -hmm. uh, Bobby Pierce, the line, goes a little bit long. Going to be a tough putt. Yeah. yeah. Uh, here is Seppo. See if he can put in, throw an Annie through that crack in the trees. Oh, he, he does, but a little too low. Little gap, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Philo with pretty much the same shot. He's going to try and hyzer it in. Sometimes you can get a disc to funnel down yeah, in there. Uh -huh. it's, I've seen it happen. Yep. Bang, bang. Wow, and that was a that all sick. shame. That was amazing. Yeah, that was a great putt. Mm -hmm. uh, see, Paul off himself a really good window. Very nice. Capitalizes. That was awesome. Yep. Really good one to get. A par there for Seppo. Yep. You can be in a... AJ tried a little turbo putt. Um, <laughs> he had the really weird angle. It, oh, yeah, that's right. It did not work. Mm -hmm. Spoiler alert. Yeah, it's got a shooting for par now. Yeah. Yep. The tat and drop side in right there. Uh, some good birdies from Paul and Bobby. Mm -hmm. A couple of SoCal's finest. It's all, it's all the SoCal gang, except for uh, Seppo. Yeah. Hailing from Finland. Yeah, kind of right. cool he's out it's here. It's basically SoCal, right? It's basically... Yeah, <laughs> Finland's basically SoCal, yes. <laughs> Oh, uh, we're on to the famous island hole. That's right. A blow up or play safe seems to be the, mm -hmm. the story here. Uh, Paul throwing the Nova. He's laying up, Peter. Yeah. That's and smart then, golf. Yeah, and that's nice over to the left there. There's a gap in the rocks if you want to lay up onto the island. You can kind of scoot it up onto the dirt. Yeah, it's a much easier angle of attack off of the mm -hmm. left there for sure. That's a great shot right there. Really good spot to land. Uh, AJ throwing the hunter. Just nice and soft and straight. Yeah. Good spot to be. Mm -hmm. uh, Philo copying that line with a rock, it looks yeah. like, or an AVR. That was a really nice shot. Mm -hmm. And Zeppo. He really curls his wrist when he throws, Peter. It's interesting. Uh, yeah, you, know, <laughs> I, you pointed that out. I yeah. Guess, uh... Still gets crazy distance. He does, man. Here is AJ's. Upshot. Oh no! Oh, nah. I think, Just went open. I think he's in. No. Uh, no, he wasn't? No, oh, was he? I don't yeah. think so, yeah. He was out there. I think. Yeah, it scooted just out. Mm. It really shouldn't have been flirting with those rocks, you know? Just like mm. throw it into the tree, slide it across. Yeah. But uh, Bobby almost gave it a half up. go and yeah. it came back to bite him right here. That one's definitely OB, Darren. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Even I can see that. Yeah. <laughs> Here is Philo, and he thought about running this one, Pete. Yeah. And then he and then he decided to be smart. It's just so dangerous. It, oh, it absolutely is. Everybody dropping in. <laughs> I believe AJ with the four. Same with Bobby. Yeah. Yep. And a couple threes from Philo yeah. and Paul. Oh, no. Oh, look. Darren, you're right, dude. Dang it, we're gonna have to edit this. <laughs> no. Moving, moving on to hole seven. Uh, <laughs> we'll have to edit, edit over that. Move past. Yeah, that. move past that. The par four is six sixteen. Mm -hmm. I throw in a laser beam through this gap, and then a big hyzer in a second drop, Peter. That's right. It's another combined hole. Uh, the basket is way out towards the parking lot over here. Um, I don't. It, it, did I hear that there's a you can could can't go over? The, off the tee pad? Or? Yeah, it's like so grown in. They used to take big annies yeah, over the top, that's right, uh, Paul yeah. and Simon, but that's that's no dice. Mm -hmm. Somebody needs to hire an arborist. <laughs> so Paul taking the low line, not throwing it quite low enough, but yeah. that's a world champ kick through those trees. Nice and out in the open. Yeah. It's not too bad. AJ? Mm -hmm. I think he kind of dissed down here to like a mid or a fairway. Hmm. Just coming up short a little bit. Yeah. Bit. A little high there. There's no OB there out and past the boulders at all. No, they took the soccer fields inbounds. That's right. Kylo coming for Peter on this shot. Yeah, he is. <laughs> He's a laser beam right there. That was a good one. <laughs> Seppo. It's 
also throwing a little laser beam. Yeah, everyone's kind of following the same. They're way. all aiming right for you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bring it on. Uh huh. You got jukes. <laughs> jukes for days. And Bobby hanging out a little farther left than you want. Gonna throw. He's got to throw a big hyzer here, Peter. Uh, that's tight. That was, yeah. yeah. Coming up short. Yeah. That was a that was a big throw from where he was. Mm hmm. Uh, we are looking at AJ with his second shot. Got to throw kind of a flex line from where he is. Yeah. I kind of turned it over a little too much. That's like, that didn't flex. Yeah. No. Seppo. Big hyzer. That is a big old hyzer. I like that that, 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 that attempt, that shot. Yeah, right? Selection. Uh-huh. He that's gives him a yeah. look. He's a little short, though. Yeah. Yeah. That's a that's a a long way to go on mm -hmm. on that that line. Philo with actually like you know pretty perfect spot. Yeah. But doesn't throw the perfect shot. You know, this it was is going. so close. Oh. Just a foot or two lower. And right. Like just a couple inches. I'm gonna say like six yeah. inches. He would have kicked back in bounds. Yeah. That hurt right there. Would have been a backboard shot. Yep. Uh, Paul throwing one of his star destroyers. On a pretty good looking shot. Mm -hmm. Pretty good looking. Yeah, he's, he's parts. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there is Bobby up in for the par. Mm -hmm. uh, here is AJ also up in for par. A little too much Annie, but that'll work. Uh, Seppo for birdie. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Had a chance. Yep. That's a long one. Uh, here is Philo to save a par. Is it OB? Yeah. Yeah, because he went OB. Oh, that's right. Yeah, he's going to be taking a five instead. Mm. All right. AJ for the four. Nice. Good putt. Um, and that's that's where Paul landed. Wow. Pretty good. That was for Birdie. Yeah, that was for Birdie. Wow. Yep. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. Yeah. Mixed in with everyone's par, <laughs> par tap ins is Paul McBest's Birdie putt. Yep. Pretty good. Unfortunate bogey there for Philo. That one kind of hurt. Uh, you really don't want to five that one. Mm -hmm. uh, Paul's leads. It's doing. It's pretty healthy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, we're on to hole eight, uh, par three, three twelve. Uh, one of the easiest holes out there, Peter. Yeah, it's it's uh, surprising. I feel like these guys are throwing mids on this one. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, very very. It's just a kind of standard backhand shot. Yeah, doesn't get much simpler than this. Mm -hmm. I believe Paul's throwing in the Champ Rock three here. Yeah, definitely. Yep. Goes a little bit long, but within Macbeth range mm -hmm. for the comebacker. Uh, AJ? He's throwing at least a fairway driver here. Mm -hmm. and not bad. That was a good skip. Mm -hmm. a, little, a little far out still. Yep. Seppo taking a little bit higher line here. Oh man! Wow. Got yeah. Yeah. Looks so yeah. yeah. It looked great, but and it's gonna be results not so much. Uh, Bobby, it looks a little tight. Yeah, a little high. Yeah, because once you get over that ridge, it kind of just carries mm -hmm. or skips down, mm -hmm. like Bobby's did. Yeah, he's got a look, but it's yeah. it's, it's kind of far. Philo that also looks a little tight needs to get down. Ooh. That just got a lot of skip. <laughs> wow. From almost ace to 40-footer here. Maybe 45. Uh, Going to have to make a comeback for par. Here is Seppo from behind the telephone pole. Not his best putt there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Bobby looking for the two. Not happening there either. Here is AJ. See if somebody got on the, there we on go. the board. Nice work, AJ. Making it look easy. Mm-hmm. Bobby makes Ooh. his comebacker for the par. That was a good mm -hmm. one. All right. Paul McBeth for the tooth. Very nice. Well done. Philo cleaning up the par. Seppo going to do the same. No problem. All righty. Uh, some nice birdies from Paul and AJ. Reels taking pars. Taking us to a fun par four, Peter. Mm -hmm. This is another combination one. Uh, you have to get out, kind of down through this little alleyway, and then there's this telephone pole here. It's mandatory right of that, 
and it's a little bit of a dog leg left there. It's a big one, um, but it's fun to watch. Yeah, it's cool. These guys throw. Yeah, the big arms go over the top. The mm -hmm. the really really big arms. Like, yeah, I think just one big hyzer for these guys. Yeah, that's I mean, a pretty big arm. That's yeah. that is a pretty big arm. Yeah. yeah. One of the biggest. And he makes it around the Mando. Yep. Got to have a look for Eagle. Just, yep. <laughs> kind of does that every year at, at winter yeah. time. Of... Usually in about that, that region. Yep. Though, yeah. If not closer. Uh, AJ. Just straight down the middle. That'll play, though. That's yeah, a pretty good spot definitely. for the low line. You can definitely get around the mandatory, mm -hmm. the next shot there. Turns out Seppo also throws far. Wow. And he smashes one around the uh, the he mando gets as well. Really far. Yeah, he he crushed that. Yeah. Try to get a look at it over there. Yeah, that was the first time I filmed him. Uh, it, was, it was fun to see him play. Okay, he, yeah. He throws real far, man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, same for me. And look at this. I haven't seen a much better low shot. That was great. Yeah. Than uh, Bobby threw right there. It's gonna set him up really nice. Yeah, yeah. you'll see where he, was. he almost made the mando mm -hmm. from the low line, which is mm -hmm. really hard to do. Uh, Philo yeah. threw it a little lower than he wanted. This is going to be yeah. a really tough second shot to get around the Mando and get to the bucket. That's, I mean, that's a, it's that's a good, it's a good, good. to get it out. Yeah. He's stuck behind some bushes there along the fence. It's yeah. kind of a long putt, and, but he got out of there. Yeah. Uh, there is AJ throwing a skip shot. That Ooh, was beautiful. Nice. Well done, bud. Very nice. Bobby with the, the second shot. Ooh. Look at that. How close he got off yeah, that. Yeah, trying to get it to turn into it a little bit, maybe. Uh huh. Here is Paul for the eagle. He always is going for that <laughs> one. Oh, he always is, man. So out drove Paul. He did? Mm -hmm. Yeah. A couple times. Not, uh -huh. not just this one. Yeah. It's no joke. Yeah. yeah. Dude throws far. Uh, missed the eagle putt, though. Here is Philo for the birdie. Oof. Philo will be putting for par. Here is Bobby for his birdie. Work. Nice. Uh, Paul's coming back for the birdie. Good, mm -hmm. good putt. Got that one. Uh huh. Philo makes the par. And we got AJ tapping in. Woo! <laughs> Seppo doing the same. A couple birdies right there. Yeah. Really, that's a must get birdie for the MPO card. Yeah, definitely. I mean, you can, even for the guys who can't get around that mandatory, it's, you know. One shot, yeah. get it, and take your next one to yep. get around the mandatory. Uh, we are on to hole 10, guys. 315, uh, dog leg right, Pete. That's right, yeah. It's a good <coughs> sidearm uh, uh, hole, and it's a little bit downhill. Curves to the right here towards the water. Yep. There is OB just past the basket on the right, but it doesn't really ever come in play, it seems yeah, like. Yeah, it's not Yeah, too hard to stay shy of that. Uh, uh, Paul likes this forehand flex line over it, the trees, which yeah, it's like... Really high, yeah. higher than I than I would expect a forehand line. He, he does it. He's got this shot on lock. It's yeah. like I think he birdies it like at least eighty percent of the time. Uh, AJ throwing this kind of floaty flex backhand line, which I really like. Yeah, and gets a nice nice kick and roll there. He could have been really dangerous behind yeah. those bushes, but he's pretty open there. Oh, he's a hundred percent open. He's yeah. got a great line at it. Uh, Seppo good. Looks like line up the low forehand. That's the shot that I see the most yeah it's definitely the most common shot uh gets a big mm -hmm. straight skip when you just deep yeah could have a look though mm -hmm. uh bobby definitely favors the backhand mm -hmm. she's showing off here kind of same route as aj took yeah just to fade it out a little sooner yep gonna have a long putt and philo Go on the forehand. Mm -hmm. That could have been good. It yeah. just threw it too low into the ground. Yeah, it hit that bush too. Yeah. Yeah. Bush kind of. Kind of wanted to get that skip. Yeah. It didn't happen. Nope. Uh, here is Philo's second shot. Kind of made just land it for par, most likely. Maybe give it a half go anyway. Yeah. Yeah, he's there. Uh, Bobby with a putt for two. Ooh. That looked good, man. Yeah. I, I thought that was going to drop in for <laughs> a second. Close. Yeah. Uh, Seppo coming back at the basket for a bird. Ooh. Not so much. Yeah. yeah. Air ball. 
<laughs> AJ? Also going to deuce. Very nice. Yeah, buddy. Good buddy. He's been putting really solid this round, man. Yeah, I like, I like seeing him play well. Yeah, 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 me too, man. He's easy to root for. Very cool. Yeah. Uh, Seppo cleans up the par. Paul does the same. Or sorry, birdie for Paul. Mm -hmm. That's right. Uh, Bobby cleaned up the par along with Philo. Yeah, this is, I feel like this is a hole that you really want to be birding. Uh -huh. I don't know why people, more people don't throw that flex forehand. Like, yeah. Paul shows that it works every year, yeah. but he's the only one who throws it. Just the way he does it, it, it looks too high to me. I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. So I'm glad it, it works. gets to work. Yep. All right, guys. That's all we got for part one. Uh, mm -hmm. Thanks for watching, and yeah. we'll catch you in part two. Right, later, guys.